Hi all, um, I wanted to record a quick video today to talk to you about this problem that I'm finding um, several people are having some trouble understanding. So this is an, a section where you're talking about multiplying binomials and the problem asks you to find the area of a figure like the one that's on your screen two different ways. And the first thing it asks you to do is to find the area of the figure um, considering it as one big rectangle. So if you see over here, um, we want to consider this entire big rectangle. And we want to kind of remind ourselves, okay, the area of a rectangle is, um, and you'll forgive my um, kind of shoddy penmanship here, um, area is length times width, right? So if we're going to look at the area of this entire thing as a one big rectangle, we're going to look at the area, um, look at this length, and I see that this length is x plus 3 and we're going to multiply by the width of the entire thing and we see that the width of that entire thing is x plus 3. And so if we were going to give the area of the whole thing we'd want to um, go ahead and multiply the length times the width and you're learning in um, chapter 13 that you do that by multiplying all of the terms in this binomial times this binomial. A lot of people like to think of it as the FOIL method. So we'd multiply the firsts and get x squared. We'd multiply the outers and get x times 3 or 3x. We'd multiply the inners and get 3x. And we'd multiply the last terms and get 9. And when we combine the like terms in the middle there, we get x squared plus 6x plus 9 beautiful, right? So that is the area of this entire figure. But the problem then asks you to do it a different way where you consider the area of each one of those rectangles individually. And so let's look at how we would um, complete the problem that way. So if you wanted to consider the area of each one of these, these individually, you would first look at the area of this um, big rectangle um, here. And the area of this length times width is exactly x squared. Um, this rectangle in here, we have 3 along this side, and this side is x, so it is 3 times x. And the area of this rectangle on the bottom is 3 along here and x along there, so 3x. And then the last little rectangle would be 3 times 3 is 9. And so, if we wanted to look at the area of the big rectangle, it would be the area of all of these small rectangles added together. So it would be x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9. Again, where it's combining like terms, x squared plus 6x plus 9. So um, I worked with some students on this problem, and they were worried that the answer was the same both times. And Actually, that's wonderful that the answer is the same both times, because if you think about it, what the question's asking you is, what is the area of the big rectangle? It's just asking you to solve it two different ways. So there's kind of two different ways that you can think about this problem. So that's it for now. See ya.